what volume of hydrogen gas in milliliters at 724 millimeters of mercury and 58 degrees C can be produced when 0.4 grams of nickel solid are put into an Erlenmeyer flask containing 188 milliliters of 0.168 molarity HCl. And we have a balanced reaction. So whenever there's a balanced reaction, there's a good chance we're going to need mole-to-mole -mole coefficients, which we definitely will in this case. And uh, let's see, we have information about one of our reactants, enough information to get moles of nickel. Uh, we have enough information about our HCl because we have milliliters and molarity. That is enough information to find moles of our HCl. That means that since we can find the moles of both uh, or each of our reactants, we need to do both of them. This is a limiting reactant problem. And we're being asked for uh, the hydrogen, in this case, in milliliters. And hydrogen is a gas. We've also been given a pressure and a volume. And uh, we're going to get moles from figuring out how many moles we can make from our reactants. So we will have a PV equals NRT for that coming up. But let's see, so let's go back to nickel. We know we have 0 0.4, well, and uh, that's an XL. Uh, I always like three sig figs, so I'm going to put 0 0.400. Uh, nickel, nickel solid. Go to my periodic table, 58.69 is the molar mass of nickel. So that's going to be grams of nickel for one mole nickel. And we're interested in our hydrogen. So we're going to have to do, yep, our mole to mole conversion for every one mole of nickel, where I'm taking that one as our coefficient. I am going to need one mole of, or I'm going to produce one mole of hydrogen. So I can find my moles of hydrogen here. And since this is a limiting reactant problem, we have to do this for each of the reactants, for both of them, if you will, and then choose the smaller one as uh, the uh, actual amount of hydrogen that we can make. Let's move on to our HCl, our hydrochloric acid. We're going to take our 188 milliliters, and let's just do it this way. So 188 milliliters of HCl. Then we know that there's 1,000 milliliters in one liter. That leaves us with units of liters. Then we have uh, this molarity. So 0 0.168 molarity HCl is 0 0.168 moles of HCl per liter or per one liter if you want, either way works. So canceling out units here, my milliliters cancel so far, my liters cancel so far, and I now have units of moles of HCl. Oop, let's go back to pink. We need not moles of HCl, but moles of H2. And now we need this. This messes up so many things if you forget this step. For every two moles of HCl reacted, you produce one mole of H2. Oop, and I lost my color scheme, but I'm okay with that. And we're going to get moles of H2, and just like all limiting reactant problems, which there's a bunch of them, then you choose the smaller moles, and then let's return to our color scheme, I guess. So whichever one's smaller, you're going to do a PV equals NRT for, well, right, you have pressure. You're going to have to convert it to atmospheres, but you, ha you can do that. You're going to have temperature in degrees Celsius. You're going to have to convert that to Kelvin. R is a constant, and N is going to be whichever moles is the smaller one of your calculations. That will allow you to solve for V. You'll get V in liters and you'll have to convert it back to milliliters. 
And that is a guide on how to do this problem.